Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with Selections for Friday the 16th of September. Well, a quick recap on Thursday's performance. Well, Miss Britton ran okay, stronger jockey. I think it probably would have won, if I'm being honest. Um, she was going plenty well enough. Uh, I think she was told not to kick until she'd gone over the, over the top of the hill. But uh, by then, um, she hadn't got the strength to, to switch it out and um, well, drive the horse into contention. Um, what happened was, she got a lot more experienced jockeys, basically, elbowing her and pushing her out of the way. And um, a bit disappointing, really. Um, the second selection, the Mark Johnson horse, well, it was going plenty well enough. It had quite a few under pressure. But Franny Norton kept to the inside, kept nudging away, but then was was it was closed off. It should never it should never allowed it to, to be closed off. And the next minute, with it being a big horse, it was shuffled back and you've never got any um chance of um of recovering from there. And yeah, it weakened quite tamely after that. But I think if it if it had kicked one over the top, I think it could have just held on for a place. And then obviously it was disappointing after that. So let's get on to Friday selections. They're all at air. I'm not going to go on too long about them. I'll, I'll give you a very brief reason why I've picked them. So let's get into it. So it's a pa I haven't put the bet on yet. But it's a pound each way accumulated and a 10 pence each way lucky 15. The first selection is day member at 9 to 2 in the 125 at air paying four places instead of three. This is William Haggis. I looked at his stats. Basically, for his horses coming in the first three, I think he's got a 52% strike rate. Well, I, we don't really want this horse coming in the first three. We want it actually coming first. Well, it's not it's not achieved a great deal. But um, because of that, it's got a decent handicap mark. This extra this step up in distance, I do believe, um, could bring out more improvement. I don't want this horse sat last uh, coming for a late run. You can't get too far behind it air. So it does need to be, at worst, Mid division or towards the front end of mid division, bad as that sounds. Rowan Scott takes the ride. The second selection is looking for Linda, uh, 11 to 1 in the 235 at air, paying four places instead of three. I backed this horse a few times. I backed it when it came, or tipped it, should I say, when it came sixth of 11 at 50s. It ran a crack, I only beat him four lengths. We were, I tipped it when it came placed in the Newbury, is it Super Sprint? I think it was. I think it came seventh, but they were paying out for first seven. I think it was 40s then. Well, um, I do think it's improving. It, it's, the improvement slowed down slightly, but I do think it's still heading in the right direction. And Carl Burke is having a fantastic season with his two-year-olds. The third selection is BT is back at 16 to 1 in the 345 at air, paying seven places instead of four. I do believe, although not confident yet, but... I do believe it could favour low numbers um, at uh, over the sprint. This horse, as the Racing Post um, analysis said, it's very unexposed. But is, you have to ask yourself, why why is it not run for a long time? Well, a lot of the breeding suggests softish ground. Um, Mason is the sire. Well, Mason was a Group 1 winner for Richard Farhi. Um, this was also trained by Richard Foy, so he'll, he'll know the family pretty well. I'm not saying it's soft ground, it's good ground, but um, it, it doesn't look as though it's really bred to be wanting the all weather. Well, all three outings have been on the all weather, don't get me wrong, it's ran well, but if it's bred, let, let's say it's bred not to be suited by the all weather, but it's still run well on it, how well, how good could it be on turf? That, and that's only that's what I'm thinking. I, and I'm also looking at the price of it. And um, with it only running three times, you'd have thought probably gets more experienced horses. And it's not run for a while. It could be 33s, 40s, 50s. Well, it's only 16 to 1. Don't go wrong. It could drift. It could be It could be no good. It could be getting prepped up, ready for another race. I don't know. But I think Richard Forrest has got three in it. And this is interesting because he, I don't think he'd put horses in this race that hadn't got a chance. He, do, he is a northern trainer, and he does like northern winners, uh, especially in the, in the big room, and especially at air, really. So that's the third selection. The fourth selection is Golden Valor, at 22 to 1, in the 420 at air, paying five places instead of three. 
Still more improvement, I think, from this horse. It's been messed around a little bit, but is it all Mike Smith? Um, it does like a gamble, and it does like a winner. Act A has got so many runners that normally either run well at A. I do think um, it could nick a place, and I think 22 to 1, paying five places, I definitely think it's worth a punt. It's not a strong race, if I'm being honest, and um, I think it's probably shown nearly enough form to grab a place, but I do think it, it's got to be lined up for this kind of meeting, because there aren't many more meetings left um, in the flat calendar. So, um, so yeah, so they're the four selections. Tell me what you think in the comments. Give me a like or subscribe. I apologise for the long losing running. It's been absolutely abysmal. I think my pockets are about empty now. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, even horses that come to win the race, and you think, it, oh, it's a shame it didn't win the race, then next minute you see a weakening and not even come in play. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. So I know the channels have been experienced a few ups and downs, and some some channels a few ups, and I think generally quite a few channels have been actually down. So there are, there are, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's call let's call it quits there. Fingers crossed. It's about time we had a winner. Click like on the video for for good luck. The very best of luck. Charlie Winters over and out. See you Saturday. Cheers, mate.